These are snapshots of a potential future Chinese starship. They come from China Space Day, an event which happened last week, and it shows that China now wants to build an equivalent of SpaceX's super heavy rocket. And the name of this rocket, the Long March 9. Long March 9 is this super heavy rocket which has been conceptually in the works in China since the late 2000s. At the time, it was envisioned as the future Chinese launch workhorse for crewed lunar exploration missions. And the planned architecture of this rocket was for a very long time this very conventional SLS-class super heavy expendable rocket powered by a small number of very high thrust Kerlox engines. And these engines became entire new developments of their own, like the WIFE-130 Kerlox engine or the WIFE-90 Hydrolox engine, at thrust levels unprecedented in China. And these engines were well on their way until things started to change radically in the early 2020s. Starting from 2021, China began suggesting a more distributed architecture for the Long March 9, using a much larger number of less powerful Methlox engines, and this time designed for reusability. Now, I don't want to go through all of the different iterations of this rocket. We actually have a full video covering that. But suffice to say that the latest Starship-like iteration looks like this. The Long March 9 will be developed as a three-stage rocket for deep space missions, but also with a two-stage variant for low Earth orbit. The first stage would use 30 methlox fueled engines, each producing 200 tons of thrust. This is comparable to SpaceX's Super Heavy, which uses 33 Raptor 2 Methlox engines, each producing a similar 230 tons of thrust. The Long March 9 second stage would use two of the same 200 ton thrust Methlox engines, whereas SpaceX's Starship uses six Raptor engines, among which three are vacuum optimized and three are sea level Raptors for landing. And finally, there's the third stage of the Long March 9 using a single 120 ton thrust Hydrolox engine. And just to wrap up this comparison, Starship has a higher thrust at liftoff with 7,590 tons against 6,100 for the Long March 9, but also a higher mass at liftoff at 5,000 tons versus 4,400 for the Long March 9. And ultimately, all this leads to a slightly smaller payload for the Long March 9 at 100 to 150 tons into low Earth orbit, depending on if the rocket is reused or expended. For Starship, on the other hand, Elon Musk claims that a well-optimized expended Starship can carry up to 250 tons to LEO, or 100 to 150 tons when Starship is being reused. Now, this Long March 9, as you may have noticed, is not yet a Chinese Starship. It's a base version where only the first stage lands vertically, while the other stages are expendable. And the plan is to have two test launches around 2033. On the other hand, China revealed that in 2040, a fully reusable variant would follow with the second stage adopting the same Starship-like design with forward and aft flaps, providing control during a belly-first re-entry. This fully reusable design would see the payload capacity drop to approximately 80 tons to low Earth orbit. Now, this Starship-inspired design is not a complete surprise. There were hints prior to this that China was already exploring a Starship-like project. In 2022, for example, the director of the Chinese Academy of Launch Technology, Wang Xiaojun, showed a much smaller methlox fueled Starship concept, at the time purely theoretical and separate from the family of Long March rockets. But the next question is, why is China developing this? I mean, let's call a spade a spade. China is clearly taking a leaf out of SpaceX's book and emulating the Starship design. The purpose of this rocket, according to the Chinese Academy of Launch Technology, would be similar to SpaceX's. We're talking about lunar and deep space exploration, the deployment of large-scale space infrastructure in orbit, and Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation of cargo. A small nuance though, the Chinese don't have this multi-planetary species focus that Elon Musk has, but on the other hand, they're much more keen on this idea of deploying massive space-based solar power stations in orbit. Starship is arguably something that could change the game in the space industry and how we do space exploration if successful. It's an extremely costly project, which is probably why countries like Japan or in Europe aren't developing their own, as these nations could probably fly on a Starship if they have a specific payload requiring such a massive launch vehicle. 
However, due to the extremely poor Sino-US relations in space over the past decades, this is something that will likely never take place for China and probably why China wants to ensure access to similar launch capabilities. Now, the Chinese are talking about 2033 and 2040 for the two versions of Long March 9. But why are we talking about such a long time frame, 10 to 20 years? Well, one reason is purely technical. It's because the 200 ton thrust Methlox engine envisaged for the Long March 9 is still in very early stages of development. And this will take a lot of time, especially if the Chinese decide to go for a sophisticated engine cycle like SpaceX's Raptor. Another reason is that China is developing in parallel the Long March 10, a launch vehicle with capabilities roughly similar to the Falcon Heavy. And this rocket will see the day much sooner. We're talking about a maiden launch scheduled in 2027. And the reason for this is that it uses existing tech currently already used on the Long March 5 to 8. And the reusable first stage of this rocket is also expected to land vertically in a much more conventional manner, although using a remarkable tethered system to catch the rocket stage. So the Long March 10 would be available to support Chinese crewed and uncrewed lunar missions in the 2030s. So with all this, there isn't that much pressure to get the Long March 9 on the pad ASAP. The priority is probably much more on the Long March 10. And finally, this Long March 9 architecture has changed so many times that I'm sure it will continue to evolve, especially if SpaceX makes some radical changes to Starship's design. And finally, just a quick announcement to say that we released a new series of merch in our merch store centered around the Chinese space station. So if you're interested in some cool space themed mugs and stickers, check it out at shop.dongfanghour.com. And as always, a special shout out to all my patrons who support me on patreon.com. If you want to support the show and join our small community, feel free to join at patreon.com slash dongfanghour. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.